Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys want to find out how to put your artwork onto something like this, a phone case or other merchandise, please make sure. Stay tuned. Coming up next. So hello, hello, hello. It's a new year, 2019. Welcome back to my channel. I got my tea ready to go. I need to take a sip. Because we're going to talk about something I was working on all last year, pretty much. As much time as I had. Talking about merchandising your stuff. Your artwork. Put your art on stuff. Like phone cases. Or just print greeting cards for your... As a gift for someone. What I'm talking about is the company called Vida. I know you guys probably haven't heard of it before. They're not very, they don't promote themselves as much, I think, than like Society6 or Red Bubble does. But what I do like about them is they support people like factories they use for their prints to get their stuff printed on and manufacture it. They support the people with education and um, programs uh, across the globe so they have different manufacturers and you can go on their website and check out exactly what that means they also um, give money to different organizations i'm thinking it says here yeah so from every every piece sold part of that goes to a good cause and also the products are very they're in like they're more high end they're like silk or more hair or leather or like this one it's printed on cotton and bamboo i think i have to check it out we're going to talk about that in a minute so it's not like uh, just your regular print on demand kind of company they actually um um try to have very good quality products on their in their stores so as a artist you can upload your stuff your artwork scan it in upload it onto the site make you know you sign up all that jazz and then you can start selling it um, what they are more focused on is you buy your own at a wholesale price and then you sell it maybe at markets or just promoting your artwork so it's still cheaper than to buy a 40 by, I don't know, 60 um, art piece original that costs thousands of dollars. You can have it on a t-shirt or you can have it on a wall hanging or on a print that costs, you know, a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars instead of thousands of dollars. Plus it's really neat to see your artwork on everyday stuff, products. So the first product I was showing you guys is Phone case. This one is for my. I ordered it from my iPhone. Eight plus. It is. So I'm gonna take. My, oopsie. Take my normal one off. And put this one on. It's really sturdy. I like it. It's a good quality. Let's put it in here. There you go. My phone. I really like the art came out really well. The print is really nice. I like that. Very good quality. So, that's one. Then the next piece I was talking about before was prints. Printing, and these are greeting cards. And when they um, print the stuff on some of the products, uh, it's not on this one, I don't think. I have to look. Unless it says it somewhere in the corner, I don't see. But no. So it's um, on the bag and on the cards. There's your name, your address, and what the product is about. So this is 90% bamboo and 10% cotton. Eco-friendly it says. So you can really feel when you look and feel with your hands. It has a nice texture to it. And yeah, so it came out pretty good too. This was just from a photograph, it's not from a scan, so a scan is probably even better. 
But uh, what I found is that their files are not that um, high resolution. They don't need this high resolution, which is good. But my files are mostly now all high resolution because I also started uploading more to Society6 and there you need a very high resolution of your artwork. So they actually don't accept the high resolution ones from the new ones I made, new artwork I made. So I kind of have to go in and change that. But anyway, if you just take pictures with your DSLR camera, you can put your stuff on artwork. So you don't have to have a scanner. So there's your, comes with an envelope. And this is only a small size. I'm not sure if they have a bigger size, but I think this is just one size right now. I would like to have a bigger size. This, I think this is only, uh, what is that? Three by five or, no, five by seven? I don't know. Five by seven probably, yeah. So that's that. Then, the one I was really excited about to get is my tote bag. Ta da! So it's has a leather bottom. Stitching seems really good so far. I haven't used it yet, so. But looking at it, zipper looks nice, a good zipper. It's got an inside pocket for your wallet or phone or whatever you want to put in there. Nice and roomy. And it has my name on it again and their logo. What I don't like about it is the way the print came out. So in this light, I don't know if I can, you can see it or not, the artwork, like this is okay, but this is supposed to be white or cream colored, is greenish, greenish blue, which is not how my artwork look like. It looks like. I'm going to insert it into my video. You can see how it actually, the original looks like. So I do like the product, but the way they printed it, I'm not a big fan of. So I may ha I have to contact them and tell them that. So maybe either I get because I don't want other people getting their artwork looking like the artwork looking like that because that's not how it looks on the website. Anyway, there's this. Okay, so these are the three products I was talking about. Um, I'm gonna leave this, all the information in the description below. I'm going to make also a video on how to upload it and how to um, kind of, um, design your products on there. It's kind of fun to do. There's some different options you have. Um, what else? Oh, don't, make sure you subscribe, like, and share because otherwise, if you don't do that, you will might you might miss that video I was talking about. I leave all the info you need about Vida in the, down in the description. And ring that bell when you subscribe. Don't forget. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you guys in my next video. Bye.